Avery Howard here with former Nebraska quarterback Taylor Martinez. First of all, congratulations on being inducted into the Hall of Fame here. What does that honor mean to you? Oh, man, it just means so much. There's been so many great players that came through and wore the N, and just to be named alongside of them, it just means so much to me, and I put everything I had into Nebraska, and I just couldn't be any more thankful to be part of it. You said this is your first moment back here in 10 years. What's the atmosphere been like so far for you? Oh, it's been just unbelievable. From the banquet to today, as you can see, it's 22 minutes before kickoff, and this whole stadium is almost full, and I haven't been back, like you said, in a very long time. And just coming back and just seeing how much red and just how much the fan base just loves Nebraska. And it's just one of the greatest things that I've ever seen. And it's just so strong. And like anywhere I go, from like California to like Texas or Tennessee or New York, like Nebraska fans are everywhere. And it's just, it's just so cool. Yeah. I saw Coach Satterfield came and grabbed you to come yeah. meet the offense. What was that like being welcomed into this new team? No, oh, it's just, he's been unbelievable. Coach Rule has been unbelievable. Talking with Heinrich yesterday um, in the new locker room and just Heinrich and Jeff Sims and Ferdy and all the quarterbacks. And I'm so excited to watch them and watch the offense grow over the years and under Coach Rule. And so, yeah. A lot of special moments for you on this field. Any emotions that come flooding back now that you're here again? Uh, there's been just so many emotions and uh, just coming the very first time I came through the tunnel walk and just running out to seeing the 90,000 plus fans and from that moment to my very first touchdown run and just hearing the crowd roar for the very first time and just the Jack Hoffman 69 yard touchdown run that always just always comes back to my mind and just helping Jack from drawing, drawing up the play on the sidelines and then just helping Jack kind of guide him to lead him to the 69 yard touchdown and because it wasn't planned at all. That's the craziest thing at all. Like we had really no expectation. We had no idea. And having both sidelines kind of come onto the field and celebrate in the end zone, and then just a crowd erupt, and just how much it spread awareness to pediatric brain cancer. And so it, it's just been a unbelievable time, then and now. So you get to share this moment with a lot of former teammates. What can you say about the brotherhood that Nebraska football creates? Oh, just the brotherhood. Just coming here from a 18 year old kid from California and moving across the country not knowing anyone and then just being welcomed to, as you can see they're all walking by right now just being welcomed by them and just open arms and we're in it together and uh, every single time at practice we break down as family as family on three and so it was just we always were a family and always just try to do everything together and we knew that we were in it together and we wanted to win together if we lost we're losing together, and um, it was a brotherhood. Well, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Avery. Appreciate it.